All right, this is like a 30 pounds bin haul. Uh, got about five pair of shoes I'll do next. Roughly about $40. Puts different things. Uh, the Spider-Man hat, new with tags. Got a vintage uh, Dale Earnhardt hoodie. And a Nike, Nike uh, I guess you call it a rain jacket, really nice. A Christmas sweater from 1996, so a nice vintage one. Another pair of Carhartt uh, pants. We've been doing good on the Carhartt stuff lately. Star Wars one. I have to make a decision on that. Some sell, some don't. Uh, the Mardi Gras. Really nice one with a real nice design on back. Don't have a date, but since somebody may like it. Thomas Ritt, I don't know who he is, but we'll look it up. Unfortunately, there is no tag, so we will have to go through that. It is double stitch, so a little bit of hair. Somebody had an animal. Now, the William and Mary yearbook, they do sell. This one's still sealed, which is rare, so you can sell it as new. And these patches... Uh, sometimes you might look at this and say, oh, it's junk. This is actually from 511 Tactical, and it's a patch of the month that they have, and this is from 2020, and there is a sale, sold comp on eBay for uh, $23.50. So, I mean, it's going to cost nothing to ship and nothing to list. It's just two pictures, so that's not too bad. We got Homer Simpson, Simpson Ladies Man. And that's on a uh, Delta tag. A little rough on Homer, but uh, what can you do? Uh, another one with no tag. I keep missing that. I might have to get better with that. Really nice uh, Grim Reaper. And a uh, Burberry. These things are pretty. The tag's just about ready to come off. I think it did halfway. And no size. So, I got to get better at that, making sure these all have tags. That's probably going to be a Gotham Batman one with no tag again. So, don't do what I do. <laughs> and really nice uh, Southwest rock art one from Colorado, the Cliff Dwellings. Uh, this uh, Nothing Nowhere is a brand also. Still no tag. Must have had a bad day. Man, you barely make that one out. Uh, Wheaton Pilots. Clinique. Got an old Rugrats. Nickelodeon one. Uh, J&P Cycles. And this is going to be, I think, Daytona. So that's the clothes. Next I'm going to do the shoes. All right, here's a good way not to discard shoes at the bins. What you're looking at are these four pair, probably list for about $350. These Kobe's, when you see the two different designs on the back, these are at least $200 sneakers. This pair of Kobe's, a little bit rougher, and they'll probably go 50 to 60. Same with the Doc Martin boots, they're gonna go about 60. And then this brand is kind of colorful. It's a bed stew, if you can make that out. Handcrafted uh, with Goodyear Wilt. And it was really hard to find any markings in them. There's this real light size 8 printed on the inside. But they are colorful. So when you're at the bins and you see stuff and you almost think these are mismatched, I didn't know about them. But uh, that's a $200 pair of sneakers, so don't hesitate to pay three, four dollars for them. All right, that wraps up the uh, 30 pounds of bins haul, and uh, we we'll look forward to the next one. Thank you for watching.